In dolamine, two, three dioxygenase one or IDO one is an important enzyme that controls immune responses by uh, catabolizing, by degrading the, amino, uh, the essential amino acid tryptophan into a series of immunoactive metabolites known as uh, canurinine. In 2014, I was lucky enough to be the recipient of an important European uh, Research Council grant, an advanced grant, uh, 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 whose aim is to develop uh, innovative drugs targeting this important enzyme. In fact, IDO1 is normally overexpressed in several human tumors, and in fact there are already uh, some uh, phase three clinical trial uh, in, in, uh, for the, um, in, in which they are trying in IDO inhibitor. And uh, uh, on the other hand, IDO1 is often defective in autoimmune diseases. So, because uh, um, a few years ago, we discovered that IDO1 is not just an enzyme, but is uh, a so-called moonlighting protein. What does it mean? It means that this protein, this enzyme, um, evolved during, uh, in, uh, in, during uh, along the years and has acquired a new function, a functional uh, signaling uh, um, into the cells. What does it mean? This means that uh, IDO1 in certain conditions can reprogram genetically the cells to control immune responses. So this is much more important than its uh, catalytic activity uh, on its own. Own. So, and by means of this, by means of this project, we are currently develop, developing uh, highly new innovative drugs, uh, which are capable to either potentiate the signaling activity of the enzyme or rather to inhibit the signaling activity of the enzyme. And this is performed in collaboration with a medicinal chemist, Professor Antonio Macchiarulo of the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences here at the University of Perugia. And by means of this project, which is uh, the acronym is DIDO, uh, Dynamics of IDO, has already led to the uh, identification of uh, drugs capable to potentiate IDO1 activity and which is highly active in an experimental model of multiple sclerosis. And thanks to that, we have also recently obtained an additional grant that will help us to accelerate the progression of our research compounds to the clinics.